right, we are looking at using the quadratic formula, okay? I'm going to tell you right now that um, I know some of you have those apps that solve algebra problems for you or look up answers, so I'm not going to give you credit for this unless you show your work, okay? So show your work, no problem. Don't show your work, no credit, okay? All right, so... We're going to look at number seven. We're going to use that same formula that we've been using. But this does not say equal zero. So what do I need to do first to get one side equal to zero? Yeah, how are we going to do that, though, in this case? Minus four. And the minus four goes right under the seven, right? Because they're like terms. So I have four b squared plus eight b plus 3 equals 0. And now it should look just like yesterday's stuff. Okay? So A equals 4. What? I simply subtracted 4 from both sides to get 0 on one side. So 4 minus 4 is 0. 7 minus 4 is 3. That's it. B equals 8. And C equals 3. So far so good? All right, so we're going to go negative 8, because that's negative B, plus or minus the square root of B squared, which is 8, minus 4 times A, which is 4, times C, which is 3, all over 2 times A, which is 4. So far, so good? If you know that formula then you should just be able to plug it in. If you've got to write the formula on the top of each side of this page, I totally get it. Feel free to do that. And I can put it on the board when we're all done, too. Okay. So I'm not going to do anything to negative 8. What's 2 times 4 on the bottom? Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to do each side of the inside of this square root. What's 8 times 8? Okay. What's 4 times 4 times 3? So we're going 4 times 4 times 3 gives me 48 is what I get. Nope. Well, he's not here, so. Mm hmm Yep. Who knows? Yep. But. Um, 64 minus 48, then, is 16. So we get negative 8 plus or minus the square root of 16 over 8. Can you say 4? Yes, I can. Yes. The square root of 16 is just 4. Oh, yes. I can totally slow down. So I'm not going to write anything down, but Abby, if you need to keep going, we can do this verbally for a minute. What's the square root of 16? Four. Okay. So then it's negative 8 plus 4 over 8, and then negative 8 minus 4 over 8. Negative 8 minus. Is everybody good? Can I keep going? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I said negative 8 plus 4 over 8 and negative 8 minus 4 over 8. I understand what Gucci means. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now I'm going to go negative 8 plus 4 over 8 and negative 8 minus 4 over 8. And I can do that because the square root of 16 is just 4, correct? Okay, negative 8 plus 4 is negative 4. Divided by 8, that gives me negative 1 half. Sorry that it's sideways, there we go. And then negative 8 minus 4 is negative 12. Over 8 reduces to negative uh, 3 over 2. Questions about those? So you got mm hmm. Mm hmm. 
Yep. Mm -hmm. Four goes into 12 three times. Four goes into eight two times. Is that better? Okay. I'm going to let you make sure you have this written down. And then we're going to turn it over and we're going to do some on the back. If we have time, we'll come and do more of these on the front. But at least the first six all equal to zero, so it should be just like yesterday's. Hmm? We don't have to do what? Right, because it already is. Yeah. Okay, we ready? Can I flip it over? Okay, keep telling me to slow down, guys, if you feel like it's too fast. You know that's my problem. All right, we're looking right here at number nine. What do I need to do first to make sure it's equal to zero? Minus that five. It would be what kind of 20? Yep, 2x squared minus 3x minus 20 equals zero. Okay, what's my A? What's my B? What's my C? Do you want me to write down the formula again? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to write down the formula right under it. It's negative B plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4AC all over 2A. So far so good? Okay, so I'm going to plug it in. Minus a negative 3 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 squared minus 4 times 2 times negative 20 all over 2 times 2. Sorry, I will slow down. Yes, two negatives would make this positive. So you could have skipped that step and just put positive three. I just wanted you to see that I'm literally plugging it right into the equation. Okay. Do you want to see a shortcut so that you yeah. do not have like to do shortcuts. all these extra steps? I like shortcuts. You like what? Shortcuts. So I've got a shortcut so that you don't have to keep going. See how little space is left here? Oh, you guys, like, I don't know about you guys, but I have very large handwriting. So it does not show up well, and I end up, like, making it go sideways and all over the place. So I have, for you guys, in one second, um, it's close. So I'm going to pull out my calculator and I'm going to try to show you guys over the calculator. So that does mean that you guys should be following along with your calculator. Now this isn't going to work for homework at home. It's pretty much only going to work if you have this calculator. But this is where you're taking all your tests, right? Okay. So you could totally use this. Okay. So I will do this a couple of different times. So if you miss this one, I will go over it again. What's nice about this is I can go to a calculator page. I'm just clearing mine so it's easier for you guys to see. So I'm right here on my calculator page. I'm going to hit Control Divide and this fraction comes up. Now I do have to kind of put it in here twice because there's no plus or minus button on my calculator. So I'm just going to do plus the first time where it says plus or minus and then I'm just going to go up and change it real quick to minus. So if I go 3 plus the square root of, and I put it in parentheses, negative 3 squared Minus 4 times 2 times negative 20 all over 2 times 2. Wait. 
So do you see that that looks exactly oh. the same as the way we wrote it on our page, except instead of plus or minus, it just says plus? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'll do the same. I'll do it again. And then I hit enter. It's four. Oh. oh, so look what happens when I put it in correctly. This is a great learning experience. If I don't put, I will put it in again. Hold on, relax. If I don't put the negative three in parentheses, I get a completely different answer. Why? Anybody have an idea? It thinks it's doing three times three times a negative. Where this thinks it's doing negative three times negative three. Do you see the difference between there? Three times three times a negative one becomes negative nine, right? But negative three times negative three is just a positive nine and it messes the whole thing up. Okay, I'm gonna enter this again, but instead I'm gonna put a minus sign and then I'm gonna show you a shortcut for that. So you don't have to enter it every single time. Okay, so first I'm gonna hit control, that blue button, or you guys have a yellow, division sign. Come on. There we go. And then I'm gonna hit three minus the square root. I'm gonna go negative three in parentheses and then put the square on the outside of the parentheses. Minus, make sure that it's a minus sign, not a negative there. Four times two times negative 20 all over two times two. And then I hit enter and I get negative five over two. Look, it's simplified for you, isn't that nice? Now watch, we can even make this a shorter shortcut. Okay, because I don't like entering them in over and over again, right? So if you click up, see how it's highlighted? See how that's highlighted again? Mm -hmm. I hit enter, mm -hmm. it comes right down, and then I'm just gonna scroll over. I think it's nice, whatever. And I hit a plus sign, it's done. So I literally went up, 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 highlight, done. So I got both my things there. Is there a way to put both plus and minus? There is not a way to put both plus or minus on this calculator. Okay, questions about this. Here's my problem. If you get a funky decimal, that means you have to go back and just do what's underneath the square root sign. So we're gonna get some that look like that, and then we just have to break it down into smaller parts. Okay, so if you did it on paper, you should get the same answer. Yeah, not a problem. Okay, so three times three is nine. So I'm gonna get three plus or minus the square root of nine minus four times two is eight times 20 is 160, but a negative times a negative is a positive. Okay, all over four and nine plus 160 is 169. Abby, you're like the least patient person I know right now. Calm down just a second. Three plus or minus the square root of 169 over four. And then what's the square root of 169? It's 13. So we have three plus 13 over four and three minus 13 over four. Three plus 13 is 16. 16 divided by four is four. Three minus 13 is negative 10 divided by four reduces to negative five halves. Questions? Yeah, I'll sit with you. The square root of 169 is 13. 13 times 13 is 169. Okay, I'm gonna skip number 11 because it's very, uh, I'm just gonna set it up for you. I'm just gonna set it up for you. So we add seven on both sides. Is there anything to add that seven to? No. 
No. So it's just 2k squared plus 9k plus 7 equals 0. And then you do it the exact same way you've been doing it. Where 2 is a, b is 9, c is 7. Yeah, because there's no like terms for it to add to. Yes. Okay. Let's look at 12. I'm leaving 10 up there. I'm 11 up there. I just want to do 12. I'm going to subtract 80 from both sides. Do we agree? Because we've got to get it to be 0. So 5r squared minus 80 equals 0. What's my a value? 5. What's my b value? 0. There's nothing with just an x or an r in front of it. What's my c value? There you go. Okay, and then we plug it in. Negative 0 plus or minus the square root of 0 squared minus 4 times 5 times negative 80. It's, it's the same thing as 0. It's, it actually doesn't exist. It's the same thing. And then 2 times a is 2 times 5. So we don't have to worry about anything in the front. We just end up with our plus or minus. 0 squared is 0, right? So 4 times 5 times negative 80 gives us 1,600 over 10. And the square root of 1,600 gives me 40. So 40 over 10, so four, positive 40 or negative 40 over 10. So 40 divided by 10 is? 4, and 40, negative 40 divided by 10 is negative 4. Miss Murphy speaking. She is. Sure. Yep. Miss Baker needs just to talk to you. Please. Okay. So that was pretty straightforward. We got a question about this one? Yes. yes. If we subtract anything from zero, it's just itself. This is, we have zero plus 1,600 because negative four and negative 80 makes positive, yep. Yep. <coughs> Fill this out and then bring it back to me. Okay, let's look at number 13. What do I do to get it equal to zero? 13. Yep. Is there any like term that just has an x in it? So we just get 2x squared minus x minus 36. I didn't put the minus x at the end because I like it to be in a row a, b, c. Okay. So A equals 2, B equals negative 1, and C equals negative 36. Miss Murphy speaking. Yeah, he did. You want to? Okay. Yep. Bye. Buddy, that would be the second time somebody has called to pick you up. So if you wanted to go to the office... You came in so late, I didn't get a chance to tell you. I said you came in so late, I didn't get a chance to tell you. All right. So, should we stick this one into our calculator again? Let's try it. Okay, I'm going to clear this so it's easier for us to see. And I do that by clicking on that little upside down triangle and hitting B. Okay, so... You can just go. So, uh, you know, it's negative B, so that's positive, plus or minus the square root of B squared minus 4, A is 2, times C, negative 36, all over 2 times A. So, I hit control divide. I'm going to put 1 plus the square root of parentheses, negative 1 squared, minus 4, 
times 2 times negative 36 all over 2 times 2. And I hit enter and I get 9 over 2. And then, do you guys remember my shortcut for so we don't have to retype it again? I'm going to hit the arrow and I'm going to hit up, up, enter, and I'm going to scroll over. And I'm going to delete that plus and put a minus. We get negative four. Questions about that? I know there's not a lot of time left, but I would like to do number 15, at least set it up for you guys, because it looks a little crazy. And then you guys can work, okay? So I'm going to get all the k squareds on one side first. So I'm going to add 3k squared, and it goes with here. I'm also going to add 2k over, and I'm going to put it under the other one that just has a k. I'm going to add 6 to the other side. See how I'm doing this all at once? It's just to eliminate the number of steps. These all cancel, and we're going to get 0 on this side. I'm literally just, if they're negative, making it positive. If it's positive, I would make it negative and put them under their like terms. Okay? k squared plus 3k squared is 4k squared. I'm going to put the 2k's next. They cancel each other out. So then negative 31 plus 6 gives me negative 25. Um, 2 minus 2 is 0, right? So we don't have anything. So A equals what? B equals and C equals. Correct. Okay, I'm going to stop there. So you have the rest of these to do. So this whole page front and back should be totally done. No, I'm not giving you partial credit for having my answers copied down tomorrow. Okay? Remember, you need to show your work. So for this, that's not enough. I'm going to actually have to put it in the form like this and have the answers. Now, I know you do not have this calculator at home, but if you use Desmos, okay, it does the same thing for you. And it's pretty quick. All right? All right, I'm pushing stop recording. You have the rest of the hour to work on this.